Are you guys ready? Yeah! Hey everyone, and welcome back to Working Class Music. I'm one of your hosts, Jason. And I'm Tia. And on this week, uh, we're actually reviewing a guitar that there isn't a lot of reviews on. We're reviewing the Ventera, or as our producer Nelson likes to say, the Moscato <laughs> 60s Jazz Master. This is the classic version, or the more vintage accurate version, uh, where the bridge and the vibrato assembly have the correct vintage placement. That's a lot of vintage. Other than that, you have a alder body with a Paw Ferro neck with a 7.25 neck radius and a 60s deep sea profile. So it comes in either Olympic white, which is more of an aged Olympic white. It's a little creamier looking. Yeah, a little creamier look. Yeah. And it comes in ice blue metallic, or as we like to call it, Beetleborg metallic. Also, one thing that's very cool with this guy. Also, one thing that's very cool with this guitar <laughs> is you have a matching headstock. I personally prefer Fenders with a matching headstock. I think it just looks classy. Other than that, some other interesting facts. The twerk is a little bit darker. It's not the original wiggle stick because uh, I lost that. So we're using a different wiggle stick, but it still wiggles. Other than that, some things to note. The bridge is still the 60s stock Fender style bridge. In order to be vintage accurate, as the name implies, you have to have the original bridge, which coincidentally, I typically hate. I usually replace them, either a mastery or a Mustang bridge. But this one has actually been set up pretty well and there's no rattle, no string popping. It's actually made me appreciate it a bit more. Also, one important thing to note, when I bought this guitar, the neck pickup was dead. Probably shouldn't say that, but it was dead. And I replaced it with an Antiquity One. So the neck pickup isn't original. However, the bridge pickup still is. Yeah, other than that, the Ventera series, they're, they came out 2019? 2019, 2020, yeah. so fairly, fairly new. It's just basically a mix between modern and vintage specs. So you're really getting the best of both worlds. You're getting the classic looks with just kind of upgraded electronics. Yeah, and there's also the modified Jazzmaster in the Ventera line, which comes in Sunburst and I think Seafoam Green or Surf Green, I think. Um, green. It's, it's green, <laughs> like money, which is why you should subscribe. <laughs> but yeah, the modified version of the Ventera has the trim placement moved closer to the bridge, which provides a better break angle. However, you can't really do the behind the bridge technique, which uh, bands like My Bloody Valentine and all those other shoegaze bands made quite famous. Also, the pickups in those are quite different. They're hotter, so they give a more modern sound. So basically with the Ventera line, I think what Fender tried to do was combine the classic series and the classic player series. These have kind of come out to replace the classic player Jazzmaster and the classic 60s lacquer Jazzmaster and the Roadworn. Um, I've had this guitar for a while and it's, it's pretty awesome. However, on um, this episode, this is Tia's first take with this guitar. Yeah, it's my first time playing the Ventera Jazzmaster, so. so yeah, yeah, we're gonna get a first really impression. Good first impression. Yeah. So yeah, that's this guitar. So on to the playing. This neck is real thick, these strings are thick, and I'm just like... It's not, it's not the feel you're used to. Not at all. I hate that.
spanky. Some like mean snaps of that yeah, thing, like, like yeah. That you turn it on? That's a reverb. It's a little reverb. That's way too loud. Like it's like, <laughs> it's it's like right, right but yeah. oh, since we said more drive. In closing, just let me get your first impressions. Like, since this was your first time playing the Ventera Jazz Master, what are your thoughts? Yeah, so I, I liked it a lot. So typically I shy away from necks about that size. Um, but like, it's, it's gonna be an ongoing thing. I've got tiny, tiny childlike hands. So <laughs> I try to stay away from necks like that. I stick with a 9.5, that's just where I'm most comfortable. Um, but it was honestly pretty easy to play. A little bit of a, you know, kind of getting used to it, almost like driving someone else's car, yeah. you know, for the first time. To recap, the bridge position sounded really, really good. I liked it uh, both clean and, you know, with the dirt, it sounded really, really well. Uh, neck position, I wish I could have, you know, heard what the stock pickup sounded like. Unfortunately, you know, this one was DOA. So, you know, gotta make do with what you have. But, you know, outside of that, I mean, it's a jazz master. It's my favorite body type of any, you know, Fender guitar. Uh, like I said, the neck was really comfortable to play. I really, really dig this guitar. But yeah, my thoughts, because to be quite honest, the classic player for me was a really great bang for the buck. I had a hard time recommending anyone else, any other guitar, because the classic player made it very easy for more modern takes on it, because I know people have their issues with the bridge and you know the, the classic player definitely um, fix that. With that said, like you, I actually like a thinner neck. For me, it's just like uh, everything that I do like lead wise, it's cool. Like with a thinner neck, it's easier on my fingers. With that said, I got used to the chunky neck. Yeah, I actually am quite used to it now. Yeah, with the neck, I am uh, down with the thickness. The Ooh, wow. <laughs> I would say for 10, 90 or 1050 1049 yeah 1049 yeah, 10 just a touch over a grand yeah just a touch over a grand this is a solid jazz master um, so yeah i would say it's worth it i know right now with everything going on from 2020 they're kind of hard to get so if you grab one if you see one go ahead and buy it oh yeah the giveaway yeah as of the filming of this video we're still giving away a home pod mini all you have to do is like subscribe comment and possibly share. And once we reach a thousand subscribers, we'll be giving this HomePod Mini away. So uh, thank you guys again, and uh, we are working class music. So Jason, you thought of the catchphrase yet? I know Kung Fu.
You're playing Metallica on a jazz master and you don't know the fucking song. Oh, no. And it's clean. 